Naruto and Sasuke ignite their battle with Taijutsu. Sasuke hurls fireballs, but Naruto swiftly evades. Naruto multiplies with clones, launching Rasengan assaults at Sasuke. Using his Rinnegan, Sasuke draws Naruto and his clones into a vortex of black flames. The authentic Naruto counters, shielding with chakra arms, and descends upon Sasuke with additional appendages. Tapping into six pads sage mode, Naruto amplifies his barrage with more chakra arms, Sasuke retaliates with another fireball, met by Naruto's staunch defense. Swiftly, Sasuke teleports behind Naruto, delivering a piercing chidori that sends him soaring. As Sasuke rains down Susanoo arrows, Naruto defends with his truth-seeking balls, Sasuke evolves into complete body Susanoo, prompting Naruto to unleash tailed beast mode, resulting in a titanic clash, culminating in a powerful fist bump between the two. Witnessing each other's childhood loneliness, Sasuke's Susanoo launches fireballs at Naruto, who adeptly dodges them. Naruto blocks Susanoo's swords with Kurama's tails, leveraging them to throw Susanoo down. Hesitant to unleash a tailed beast ball while Susanoo is vulnerable, Naruto's delay grants Sasuke an opportunity to employ Kirin. Sasuke reprimands Naruto for hesitating. But Naruto refuses to let Sasuke shoulder his burdens alone again. They clash fiercely with a Susanoo-powered Chidori and a tailed beast ball. In their mental exchange, Sasuke voices his resolve to end Naruto's life, noting their stark differences since their last encounter at the Valley of the End. Naruto argues against Sasuke's vision, questioning whether his proposed world would truly be free from the darkness of the past. He highlights the current unity among the five villages, achieved through overcoming shared adversaries like the Akatsuki, Madara, and Kagaya. Naruto presses Sasuke on what will happen once he's gone, no longer serving as the common enemy. Sasuke asserts his ability to lead from the shadows with the power of the Rinnegan, confident in his capacity to shape the future. Growing frustrated with Naruto's refusal to kill him, Sasuke summons the Chibaku Tensei, sealing the tailed beasts as his first step into the shadows. Harnessing the beast's chakra within his Susanoo, Sasuke transforms it into an awe-inspiring entity. Kurama notes the resemblance between Sasuke and Hagoromo but warns Naruto against underestimating him. As the empowered Susanoo materializes, Naruto counters with a legion of shadow clones, all in tailed beast mode. Sasuke scoffs at Naruto's reliance on clones, interpreting it as a manifestation of his loneliness. He swiftly dispatches some clones and disables others, despite Naruto's efforts to immobilize the Susanoo temporarily. The conflict intensifies high above the clouds, with Sasuke unleashing lightning arrows to counter Naruto's tailed beast balls, resulting in thunderous explosions. As Sasuke prepares for another attack, a previously dormant Kurama shadow clone reactivates infusing Naruto with a tremendous surge of natural energy. Naruto merges the remaining Kurama shadow clones into a colossal, multi-armed, multi-faced avatar, forging a massive Raisin Shuriken and tailed beast ball Raisin Shuriken. He reaffirms his determination to defeat Sasuke fair and square. Though not the current version of him, their formidable attacks collide, unleashing a cataclysmic explosion. Drained and battered, they plummet back to the heavily scarred Valley of the End. Witnessing Naruto's resilience, Sasuke unleashes Amaterasu, but Naruto shields himself with Kurama's chakra, deflecting the flames aside. Amidst the chaos, Naruto lands several blows on Sasuke, who retaliates by paralyzing Naruto's clones with electrified shuriken. Thinking he has struck the real Naruto with Chidori, Sasuke is caught off guard when the genuine Naruto delivers a surprise attack from the side, depleted of chakra. Sasuke struggles to maintain Chidori while Naruto falters with his Rasengan. Sasuke gains the upper hand, relentlessly pummeling Naruto. In a desperate move, Naruto draws Sasuke closer and delivers a powerful head but, despite their exhaustion, they continue trading blows, both barely able to remain standing or land hits, memories flooding back of Naruto and Sasuke sparring in their academy days. Undeterred by fatigue, Naruto and Sasuke press on. Kurama manages to muster some chakra, but Sasuke swiftly absorbs it with his Rinnegan. Energized, Sasuke launches a ferocious Chidori assault, only to be thwarted as Naruto delivers a timely uppercut, sending him staggering. Sasuke pleads with Naruto to allow him to end his life, 
but Naruto staunchly refuses. Kurama notices Sasuke's Chidori infused with Kagatsuchi and shares a moment of solidarity with Naruto, granting him the last remnants of its chakra, recalling Naruto's unwavering determination to save Sasuke. With newfound resolve, Naruto and Sasuke clash once more, their collision generating a monumental explosion that obliterates the remnants of the Valley of the End. At dawn, Naruto and Sasuke wake up. Sasuke laughs when Naruto, despite their battered state, expresses a desire to keep fighting. As the sun rises, Sasuke admits defeat. Believing that his death would end the cycle of revenge, he suggests Naruto can release the infinite Tsukuyami by transplanting his Rinnegan into someone else after he dies. Naruto counters, urging Sasuke to live and help him unite all shinobi instead. Sasuke doubts others would ever want to cooperate with him and fears he might turn against Naruto again. Confident, Naruto reassures him, pointing to their enduring friendship as proof. Overwhelmed, Sasuke begins to cry and turns his face away. Both of them remain there, with their dominant arms destroyed and bleeding. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more showdowns and recaps.